What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and it's uh, it's time for a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are against Joe. He's actually my friend's, um, my boy is uh, Slagathor's friend. So this is going to be fun. Um, I forgot to bring an item. I forgot to bring an item. I gave it the blizzard. I took the item off temporarily, and I don't even know why this keeps happening to me. It's been a long day at work and stuff like that, so it's just... Uh, crazy but um we're gonna have to play with it as is so we got joe who's bringing a volcanian which i have never gone against i think at least um we we've been against an extra drill that's a big threat especially with the earthquake and what's going on we got the incineroar the corsola that is awesome what was i what was i just saying on my last wi-fi battle remember um, but we also got the Togekiss and the beautiful Slowking, who can be a big threat. I'm really upset that my Glaceon isn't, I, it doesn't have an item. We're going to have to play with it as is. But um, I don't have any U-Turners, and it's not my place to not have any U-Turners. But just kind of um, going up against um, how we did with my boy Slidethrow, we're going to go ahead and start with the Slurpuff. We're going to try to get momentum by setting up the Sticky Web. And my opponent does not have any Defoggers or any Rapids. Well, he has, he actually has the Excadrill, which is Rapid Spinner. But if we play things accordingly, we might be able to get rid of the Excadrill and just um, keep the Sticky Web up. But that's going to be a big problem. We have to play around the Excadrill, which is who he starts with, um, which is not good for us. It's probably going to hit us with the Iron Head to start things off. Um, either that or the Earthquake. And I really do not feel comfortable staying in against this thing. And... Um, does Dragonite, Walt, oh, Togekiss is a thing, and I actually forgot to give this thing a Thunder Punch. That is not good for me. Not good at all. I think what I'm going to do here, though, is go Azumarill. We got the Aqua Jet to threaten this thing, and given that we're Choice Banded, we should be able to knock it out. Um, so we're going to go into the Azumi, the Azumarill. We're going to go out, we're going to see a Swords Dance here, which is kind of crazy. Very crazy. It almost makes me wonder if this thing is choice uh, or um, focus assed. Regardless, though, we're going to go ahead and hit the Aqua Jet. That's a very aggressive play by my opponent for the, for it being the first turn of the battle. Very cool. Very cool. He's going to stay in. That's bold. He got the focus ass, doesn't he? Nope. There you go. All right. So that is our answer. Now we can go out into the Slurpuff and just set up the Sticky Web and wreck havoc. So, um, I feel pretty comfortable now. I feel confident. I feel good about how things are going to go. I just got to play my cards right. Um, unfortunately, not having an item on the Glaceon might matter a little bit, given that the item it normally has is going to be the choice spec. So, we'll see. Volcanion does come in, and that is a big threat to us. Um, obviously, I don't want to Slurpuff. I do want to go out into the... I have no answers for Volcanion, do I? I have no answers. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I'm just going to have to suck it up. Obviously, I cannot stay into Azumarill given that it has a water absorb. But Azumarill is going to be very, very helpful to us against the um, Incineroar. But I think what we need to do here is go out and <laughs> we're gonna have to sack off the glaceon in this battle aren't we yep we're gonna have to sack it off we're gonna run to the glaceon here and um we're just gonna call it we're gonna go into the glaceon probably sack it off unfortunately as much as i hate to say that and we're gonna have to go out into um the slurp puff and set up our our stuff so sledge bomb is gonna come out and that's gonna do a whole lot of damage and obviously volcanion is gonna outspeed us so there's nothing we can do about that freeze dry is gonna be the play it's the only best move that we have is stab. It's stab and um, it's neutral. So it's it's going to happen. We're going to freeze right here. I don't foresee us doing a lot of damage. And I'm surprised we knock, we outspeed. That's going to put us in range for Lucario. That's going to put us into range for Lucario. And given that it went Sledge Bomb a second time, it makes me wonder. Maybe he's... Uh, I don't think he's... I don't think so. I don't think so. I was going to say he's probably Scarfed or um, Specs, but I really don't think so. I highly doubt that. Um, I do feel comfortable going into Lucario, given that Glaceon outsped, and we're just going to close combat here. Now, if he does go into the Corsola, then so be it. 
Um, I don't have an, yeah, I do have an answer for Corsola, which is going to be my, um, I'm forgetting the Pokemon names and it's getting annoying. Um, Chandelure, Chandelure. I don't know why my short term and long term memory is kind of going, um, haywire right now, but it is what it is. I really hope he stays in just so I can get a free knockout, but I really don't see that happening. If I were my opponent, given that I bring in a Lucario, I would bring in the Corsola. Predict the fighting type attack. Given that it's the strongest move Lucario can run, aside from high jump kick, that would be better. Um, if my if I was running jump kick and then he switched into Corsola, um, but yeah, I, I, the only switch in the only answer is the Corsola. Maybe he'll see that. We'll see. Corsola, it is. Watch. Check this out. I knew it. I knew it. Um, I can foresee the uh, fire type attack, so I can I can foresee the Will O Wisp, and I'm gonna go out into the Chandelure here. We're gonna go into Chandelure. We're gonna make things happen with the Shadow Ball. At least I'm hoping. We'll see. Corsola can be pretty threatening. <laughs> I feel like Corsola can be pretty underrated. By the way, Joe actually gave me a shiny Frost Moth. So Joe, if you're watching this, thank you. I'm gonna use it here within the next couple of Wi-Fi battles. I haven't built a team around it yet, but I do plan to. So here comes a, here comes the Sandalore. My opponent's probably gonna go Will O Wisp. I hope you go Will O Wisp. Scald. That's bad. That's very bad. Do I need the Sandalore? I kind of do. Because I have the Psychic type attack. I don't like what I just saw, if I'm being honest with you. I really, really don't. I'm not spec, so it's not gonna get rid of much. Uh, that's rough. I'm gonna stay in. Oh, I misclicked. I've been doing that a lot today. I think I need to stop recording for the day and just go to sleep. Okay, I got lucky. I got hella lucky. I'm gonna go for the psychic here. Um, We'll say predicting the cloaking, but that's not true, um, obviously. So I think what I'm gonna do here, I'm actually gonna go for the Slurpuff, and I feel comfortable yawning. We're gonna yawn something here. I got so lucky. You have no idea how lucky I got. Well, maybe you do, you're obviously watching this, but I got really lucky. Slurpuff comes out, you're probably gonna go Shadow Ball, or I meant Scald, but I read Shadow Ball. That's gonna do a little bit of damage, nothing too crazy. I'm actually gonna, don't click Missy Explosion again, please. I'm gonna go ahead and just go for the Sticky Web here so that we make sure that everything and anything outspeeds his entire team, given that he has no Levitators and no Flyers. So, um, yeah, I don't think he'll switch out. He'll probably protect to kind of scout what I'm going for. And he doesn't, he's gonna probably Shadow Ball here. You're gonna Shadow Ball, aren't you? Scald, that's cool. That's cool. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take the time to miss the explosion here. We should, we obviously do outspeed this thing. But the reason I'm going to miss the explosion is because that's gonna set me up to kind of go out into something and wreck havoc against this thing. Do damage. Didn't do a whole lot, obviously, because this thing is defensive as heck. But at the very least, we're gonna go ahead and go for the. I want to go Chandelure and Shadow Ball, but at the same time, I feel like a Liquidation Azumarill will do the trick, given that we're batted in huge power. That's going to do, I'm, I'm, I almost feel confident. Now, if he goes into the Volcanion, then that's obviously a problem. So I almost, I'm going to play rough here. We're going to play it a little bit safe. Obviously, we have a chance of missing, and that's not going to be good at all, but... I would rather hit a play rough on a Volcanion than give it a free health boost. So that is what we're gonna do. I ordered a pizza, I am starving. Are they here already? Yeah, they're they're already here. Wow, okay, I'm in trouble. I'm kind of in trouble. I'm hoping I finish this Wi-Fi battle before the pizza man gets here, because I cannot hear the door. Come on. I'm down two, I'm down early, but that's okay. <laughs> that is okay. Play rough. Knock it out, please. Please, 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 please. Yes! Okay. 
I don't know why I said yes like that. Excuse me. I don't know why I said yes like that. That was kind of bad. <laughs> Hurt my throat a little bit. Okay. Now, um, what, what else does he have on the back? I'm trying to think. He has Incineroar in the back. Volcanion, obviously, which is going to resist my fairy type attack. But that's okay because we got the um, sticky web on this thing. I really like Chandelure against the Sloking. Though it's probably a salt vest. And I got nothing else against the Sloking. So um, we have to kind of just stick it out. I think what I'm going to do here is. Lucario. I really want to go Lucario, but I think his steam um, Steam eruption has a chance to burn and I don't want to risk that I really don't he's probably gonna go for the water type attack to begin with But I'm kind of okay with that. So he dynamaxes Okay So my opponent dynamaxes that's obviously gonna bring a little bit of um, that's gonna be a little bit of a problem And I'm gonna ask myself once again, what do I do? What do I do? We resist this. So this is actually kind of good for us. I think what I'm going to do here, we Shadow Ball. Special attack boost is pretty huge. Not going to lie. But I think we Shadow Ball here. It's Stab. Um, obviously, Chandelure is going to go down. And I don't think it's worth Dynamaxing the Chandelure. I think it is worth Dynamaxing either Lucario or the um, Gosh Darn... What's your name? Um, Dragon Knight. Or maybe even Azumarill. Dynamaxing Azumarill might be good. Just kidding. It's probably not. Probably a terrible idea. I love the fact that he brought in the rain. Because Azumarill is probably going to have a field day against the rest of his team. Assuming I knock out this thing. Which I absolutely have to do. And I think what I'm going to have to do here. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Dynamax... Steam Eruxman is a special type attack, so I have to be careful. But I'm going to go out into the Lucario. Oh, he has the fire type attack, doesn't he? He has the fire type attack. I, I know that. So I think we're just going to close combat here. I was going to Dynamax, but given that he has the fire type attack, I don't think it's worth it. Because even if I do Dynamax, Max Knuckle is only 90 base power, which is less than um, close combat. Um, the only option I did have against this thing is going was going to be the um, steel type attack But I don't think it's very effective So I could be wrong now. I'm gonna be very surprised if he switches out which he does not he does live this and that is expected Hit me with the fire type attack Please don't though max flare he does I needed that rain I Needed that rain the good news for us is that we could actually go out into the Dragon Knight, we can extreme speed, and we can later Dragon Dance. So I think that's what we're going to do, because we also got the fire type attack with the um, with the Dragon Knight. So I think we're okay. We're going to extreme speed, we're going to get rid of this thing, and afterwards we're going to go ahead and just dance it up. I just hope that the Slow King does not um, burn me. And Togekiss is going to be a problem also. Except with the Fire Punch, I think we might be okay. I'm going to Extreme Speed here. And if you want to hit me with the Togekiss, that's that's going to be perfect. Because I'm wearing Weakness Policy. And if I trigger that Weakness Policy, I think I will be okay. I will be okay with the Weakness Policy. I don't know why I, I am Extreme Speeding here. It's not really needed. Uh, I know why. Because I got the Fire type attack. And, Dragon t and if he switches into the Togekiss, then I'm in trouble. Okay, so here comes a Togekiss. Oh, Sloking. Interesting. Very interesting. Probably going to try to go for the for the burn. That's the only thing I can think of, if I'm being honest. Now, um, I really like Azumarill on this matchup. Specific oh, actually, the, the sun is up. Never mind. I'm going to Dragon Dance here. Come on. Do not burn me. Knowing my luck, he's going to burn. If he burns, this game is done. The game is done if he burns. And then we've reached the point of the battle where I am getting nervous. I am getting nervous. Calm mind. You see, I kind of don't mind that. <laughs> Get it? Calm mind. Mind it. 
funny funny to me okay so now we have to wonder how much time how, how much has it been since the um sun has been up we got two more turns of sunlight a max flare is gonna probably do the trick i'm gonna dragon dance one more time and i'm hoping multi-scale comes in clutch i'm hoping multi-scale comes in clutch especially against the togekiss i might have to dynamax azumarill so i kind of don't want to uh, i kind of i kind of have to i'm putting a spot where i have to dynamax the dragonite but i really don't want to right now oh man what am i gonna do i don't think max flaring is gonna do the trick i think i'm gonna dragon dance one more time and i'm oh, i'm getting nervous i'm getting really really nervous one more dragon dance please now um if azumarill comes into play my move is going to be to set up the max flare or not azumarill the togekiss the only problem with that is that is setting up volcanion for success with the fire and um it's going to set up my own azumarill for failure <laughs> so we're kind of in a predicament here so i don't know if i want to dynamax i'm at a plus three i think Oh, that does a lot. That does a little too much. Sunlight fades, which I really don't mind that. But I, I think a plus three dine. I, I think a plus three is gonna do the trick. It has to, right? What, what am I at? Plus three. Oh, please, 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 please. I hope I didn't mess up. I hope this thing doesn't have any defensive investment. Dragon Dad, Dragon Claw. It's gonna, it's gonna hold on. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm very okay with that. 100% 100% This is got this is going to let me take the this is going to let me take the win. I'm almost certain. If you go out into I should have fire punch Okay, I'm good. I'm overthinking things now. I'm overthinking. If Togekiss comes out I think I'm actually going to go for the normal type Dynamax, which is Max Strike. I think I'm going to Max Strike, and I think we're going to be okay. Max Strike should do the trick against it. I am worried. I'm not going to lie. I am worried about Azumarill. I don't think Azumarill can take it, and I'm hoping she can. I'm hoping she can. I think my Azumarill's a girl. I don't know. I don't check my genders when I breed my Pokemon. I just check for IVs and I'm like, okay, cool. It's a, it's a, it's a W. Come on. Okay, here comes the Volcanion. I'm cool with that. 100%. If I were him, I would have gone Togekiss. Incineroar is going to be a problem. But I don't think Incineroar is something we cannot handle. Especially with the Azumarill. Okay. I think we are okay, especially with the Zumeril. I think the Zumeril is going to be the Pokemon we Dynamax. His place should have been to go. His place should have been to be. His I can't even talk. His place should have been to go into the Togekiss. Okay. I'm gonna extreme speed here, and my Wincon has to be the um azumarill and i mentioned earlier that he has no flying type pokemon but he does have the togekiss it's a crit that might have mattered air slash don't not make me flinch please oh you can't anyways but it knocks us out okay one versus two and i'm, I'm i feel really good about azumarill even if the incineroar has the um intimidate i feel really good very very good and we're racking up uh well no i was gonna say we're racking up a win streak but we lost our we lost our last wi-fi battle <laughs> we lost our last wi-fi battle did i click aqua jet i think i clicked aqua jet I'm almost certain I clicked Aqua Jet. Yeah, I did. Okay. 
So I'm locked into Aqua Jet. I haven't Dynamax, so I can really get rid of this uh, Incineroar next turn. Here comes the Incineroar. Intimidate is the thing. Beautiful, shiny. And um, here comes the Intimidate. This Incineroar ain't gone anything on this. With huge power, we should be able to knock out at the very least. Aqua Jet is not a very strong move. So maybe. Imagine he crits me. <laughs> knock on the table. Knock on wood. <laughs> if he crits me and knocks me out, I'm going to be so salty. So, so salty. You have no idea how salty I'm going to be. Come on, choose your move. No, it's not even a 2 -hit. I have to Dynamax here. Flare... I don't think I have to Dynamax after this. Oh, that's a lot of damage, though. Oh, I really don't think I have to Dynamax. I don't have to Dynamax! Okay! We're Aqua Jet. We won this. We won this. Woo! After losing my last two Wi-Fi battles to... Um... Slagathor? This it feels so good to win. It feels so good to win, at least against his friend. That is so awesome. Joe, thank you so much for that Wi-Fi battle. That was fun. It came down to the wire. Really, really good battle. Um, I hope you watch this video, and I hope you leave a like. Maybe even a comment. Is that too much to ask for? Memorable battle, so I'm going to take your lead card, and uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and especially if you've been watching these Wi-Fi battles consistently. Helps me out a lot, and I'm truly thankful. But it's your boy, Daddy Mac. I will see you guys next time.